Hey guys, welcome back to Mother Tucker's Antiques. I'm Jason. Hopefully if you guys are here with me tonight, that means you guys saw our uh, Goodwill shopping video that we had posted on Sunday. So um, as promised at the end of that, I have two things that I'm going to share with you. One, the haul from when we went uh, to those Goodwills last week. And I have a mystery box from Barb of uh, Winking Alley Antiques. So, since it's still July, I have a uh, Santa shirt on. It is black, but it's a Santa shirt. I have my Santa hat on. We're going to open up the mystery box from Barb. So, let me go ahead and get the box opened. I'll come back and I'll show you what I got. Okay, guys. Now, um, let me get my hat all situated. If you guys aren't familiar, uh, Barb had a Christmas sale with Amy this year, Amy of Enamor Amy. So during that sale, she had a mystery box and I purchased it. So I thought I would share with you what she sent me. So she sent me a nice, lovely letter thanking me for the purchase. So thank you, Barb. Um, I'm really excited to uh, get this from another Christmas lover. So um, I'll just show you what's in here. So she sent this fun little sticker of Santa. She sent this vintage... Christmas card, which I love. The graphics on there just dropped. Oh my gosh. Just dropped in and boom, there he is going down the chimney. There he is. Merry Christmas. So that's fun. Thank you so much, Barb. Let's see what else is in here. So here, let me go ahead and open this. Try to do it as fast as I can. Great pack job, Barb. Let me tell you, really good pack job. So the first thing in here is this really fun oh my goodness well it looks like there are some little lead miniature figurines so we love those they're like the charles dickinson little lead figurines so they're really fun and i love this because this is like a miniature version of a macrame christmas tree that is kitschtastic. I love that. That is fun. We will put that on our tree. What else is in here? So let me see. I don't want to break anything. So in here was this vintage. Oh my gosh. Look at this vintage Christmas card with the flocking on it. Oh my God. That little kitschy bear is adorable. I love him. He is fantastic. So then this was in there. So let's get this open. Let's see what this is. Oh, I've been so excited to open this. It's been here for like a week. Oh my goodness, I just can't wait. So let's see what else is in here. Hopefully you guys are just as excited about Christmas as we are. I mean, five more months, it'll be officially Christmas, but um, it's always fun celebrating Christmas in July. So in this little package is this cute little plastic little Santa. So he is fun. And I love this star bulb. This is, I think, a later version of the matchless stars. So this is the later version. The earlier ones were made of glass. So, oh my goodness, so many things. Great pack job, awesome pack job. So let's go ahead and see what else is in here. Oh, we got some plastic Christmas. Plastic Christmas. It could be Christmas every single day in my house. Well, it seems that we still have Christmas stuff up. So, um, look at this guy. I don't have this guy. He's sort of the iridescent, like the Bradford plastic Santa. Oh, he's really good. I don't, I don't think I've ever seen him before. He is fun. So, let's keep going here. Again, you guys are just popping into the video here. This is a mystery box I purchased from Barb of Linking Out Antiques. Man, this is some fun, tiny treasures. Let me tell you what. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Look at that little teeny tiny Santa. Hold on. Look at that little teeny tiny Santa. Oh, my God. He's made of wood. He is fantastic. And then we have this little plastic guy here. Holy moly, look at that. Look at that little teeny tiny Santa. Oh my God, I love tiny treasures. Tiny treasures. This makes me feel nice. So many fun things. I don't want to cut myself. I am using a razor blade. I had to get approval from Tina to use it. I'm just kidding. Maybe. So what else is in here? So here we go. 
This is really fun. Oh my God. I love, oh, we will use this in our display. It's a plastic Merry Christmas bell. Okay, that's fine. Let's see what else is in here. We got something wrapped up in tissue paper. I'm so excited. Oh, it's one of the Scotch tape tins. Believe it or not, we don't even have any of those. We've always sold those. So that one will be a keeper and used in our display this year. Let's see what else we got in here. Don't want to break anything. So here's one more. Let's go ahead and open this. Everything is packed so well. Oh my God. Nice and safe. What else is in here? Ooh, let's see what it is. Let's see what it is. What is it? What is it? What is it? I better slow down. I don't want to break nothing. Oh my God. Look at him. He's a little toothpick holder. Oh my God, he's one of the dime store little toothpick holders. Oh my God, I love him, Barb. I love him. Oh, I'm so, I'm so tickled. I'm so instead of saying tickled pink, I'm so tickled red and green. I'm so tickled red and green. So let's see what else is in here. Again, I'm unwrapping my mystery box from Barb of Winking Out in the Teat. And I think this is the last item in here. And did I save the best for last? I think I did. I got myself a mini little Santa mug. Oh my God, and he's the winking one. Or has he got both eyes closed? I don't know, but he's got eyelashes for days. Ho, 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 ho. Oh my God, that's fantastic. So let me make sure I didn't miss anything. I didn't. Barb, thank you so much. That was a fantastic mystery box. Oh my God. I love it all. And this little guy, he is spectacular. Look at him with his little candy cane. Oh my God. I've never seen him before. Oh my God. He's so fun. So guys, please make sure if you're not follow Barb over at Winky Now Antiques. Um, she's over on Instagram. Um, really, really, she loves Christmas. So if you guys love Christmas as much as I do, I know you guys probably already know who she is, but please make sure you give her a follow. So all right, guys, as promised, you hang tight. I will be back. It'll be the next day because I actually opened this on Sunday. So it'll be Monday morning, and I'll show you everything we purchased from Goodwill. So you hang tight. We'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the mystery box opening. It is now the next day. So it is Monday morning, and as promised, here is our haul. We went to four thrift stores on Friday in the Harrisburg, Pennsylvania region. Uh, three of them are Goodwills. One of them was Community Aid. So um, I've been under the understanding that you're not supposed to film in Community Aid. So we didn't film in there and you didn't miss much there. So the uh, three Goodwills that we went to, we went to the one in Lemoyne first. So that's what I'm going to show you. The second one was in the Mechanicsburg region. So that'll be the second grouping of things that I show you. And then the third which I think was our best, was from Elizabethtown. So, and I've been going to the Elizabethtown Goodwill since I was, um, since I was a child. So it, they did tear it down and rebuild it, but it's in the same location. So I've been going to that Goodwill. God, I can remember going in there when I was probably like 12 years old. So, um, all right, let's get into it. You guys don't want to hear my history. You want to see what we found. So, Again, this is uh, the stuff that we found, and some of it we filmed, some of it we didn't, uh, but this is uh, up close and personal. And most of these things are either going to be in future live sales or they're going to go to the store. Some of the things are probably definitely, the majority of this will probably end up at Mother Tucker's. So, but if by chance there's something you see in the hall that you cannot live without, like you're going to lose sleep if you don't own it, uh, our email will be down in the description. Be sure to email us and we'll work something out and we'll make sure that you get the item that you have your heart set on. So you saw her in the very beginning. She's a little condiment uh, container. She has these great, I think she's a little Irish little lassie, like a Irish little uh, woman. She's just a little condiment. I don't know if she's a sugar to a cream and sugar set. I'm sure they probably put the sticker over top of the left-in sticker or whatever company made her, but we will touch up her paint maybe, and she'll go. We have uh, 
holiday case at the store. So she'll go in like the little St. Patrick's Day section. So we did find her. Then we found two of these little, I'm sure these are 1980s little Taiwan uh, bunnies. Adorable. Look at her with her little ducky. Cute little dress. She was $1.99. Then this little guy was $1.99. So we did get him. So those will make the holiday case because when the folks come into the store, they don't just want all Japan and old things. They want some of the 80s and 90s as well. So we mix some of those in. Uh, those of you that are new to the channel, you may not know in my formal uh, life, my former job was I was a mobile DJ. So my heart is with vinyl. It is with music. Um, I'm really into the oldies, Motown, doo-wop, things like that. So, But I'm also into the crooners. I love me a little Sinatra, a little bit of Dean, and I do not have this Perry Como album. So I did find this. It's in one of those album frames, I believe was one of his hits. Um, I don't know how good of condition the vinyl is in because I did not take it out of the frame. But at $2.99, I'll take a chance. And if I don't use the frame, I'll put another album in it and sell it at the store. So um, I did find that. I did show, uh, I found this large beer glass. Again, may not be something that you guys are interested in here. But at $1.99, I can get probably $8 to $10 for that at the shop because I do get a lot of fellas come in that want to fill up their man cave or their at-home bar. So that is a good thing to pick up if you have a booth. It's also good. It sells for me at the store. So I have a little man section. Also, guys, if there were some things that you saw that we left behind, two things happen when we're filming. One, or I'm filming, I do miss things. But um, some of the things I didn't even pick up and show because they had damage, okay? So um, Tina did buy some of the Avon pieces. So this was one of the Avon uh, pieces that you saw her pick up. These will probably be available in her uh, section. She has a section in the front of the store that she sells uh, women's clothing. Here's the little deer. So it's a little deer. There's the little jar in there so that'll be available in her section so she sells purses hats uh clothing dresses all in the front of the store and then she mixes in a little bit of these things um as well and yes yes avon's making a comeback guys i know those of you that have been resellers or in the vintage community for a long time you might cringe but this avon that we turned our nose up at for a good decade <laughs> is selling now so um Someday I'll tell you guys a story about the big lot of when when you first get into reselling, everything's magical. Everything's a first. And we went to an auction and I bought flats, flats of Avon decanters. It took me forever. And I'll tell you the story about that in a future, future video. And then she did get these uh, Avon soaps. So hopefully we don't tip them out, but they are the granny special because they went in the powder room. These were the soaps you didn't use. You didn't use it. If you did, you got in trouble. So that were that we also found at that Goodwill. Um, and that was the first one in Lemoyne. These we didn't really film because these are for us. These are little, uh, these are great for your ephemera. You know, so we got two packs of them and everything that day with the green tag was half off. So they were $1.99, so that made them a buck. And we put our greeting cards in there. We also use them as props at Mother Tucker's. So those we picked up as well. So Tina had to talk me into these. I passed on them in the video, but we came back to them. So these will be for sale. We have a a Christmas, another Christmas section we've started in the store that we're going to have now through the holidays for kind of things that can be on the shelf that don't have to be locked up. So we did go ahead and get these teapots. They are made in Taiwan. They're probably 1980s Santa, but I have to tell you, Tina was right. Um, the snowman, I think, takes the cake. He is really, really cute. A lot of these 80 things are becoming very kitschy. At one time when I collected the uh, 50s and just the 50s and 60s stuff, these things didn't seem to, to go with them. Now they sort of do. So I think that's everything that we purchased at Lemoyne. Hang on, let me clean up my mess. And now I'll show you the things that we got at Community Aid and the Mechanicsburg Goodwill. So you hang tight. I'll be right back. All right, guys. So I'm back. Now I'm going to share with you the items that we got at Community Aid. So we didn't film in Community Aid. 
Um, but we did find two things in there. So this is very contemporary, but these things do sell at Mother Tucker's. This is a uh, tiki. It's um, from Tikis Grill and Bar in Waikiki. So it is contemporary, but at $4, I can get 10 for it easily at Mother Tucker's. It is a great large tiki if you want a very large drink to drink out of, but this is great f to use as a vase. So um, again, not everything I'm showing you is going to come to a live. I also have to purchase things for the brick and mortar. So again, man cave, if guys are doing, if ladies and guys are doing a luau, but that will sell at Mother Tucker's. Okay, so we'll sit that down there so it doesn't get broke. Oh, good old jingle bits. Reminds me of my old stripping days. I used to be called, now to the stage, Jingle Bits. No, that's a joke. That's a joke. Don't be offended. Don't unsubscribe. That's a joke. Um, I never was a male dancer. Um, but all that aside, we'll talk about that in another video. I did find this fun vintage. Yes, it does have a barcode. But I do believe that this is probably from the 1970s. And the graphics on this, you can't get much more kitschier than all these candies. And again, there's a little bit of wear, but I think it was like a dollar. So I think it was a dollar, and this will come, to, this will definitely go to Mother Tucker's. So um, you have the good old Plantation Jingle Bits tin, and that's all we found at Community Aid. Truth be told, we spent more time in the line trying to pay than we did in the store shopping. So now we won't stop the camera. Now I'll show you the items that I found at the second Goodwill, which was in Mechanicsburg. I did show you guys and just talked earlier that I do like records. So what I do this time of the year is I try to find a lot of Christmas albums because nobody's really sourcing them. And then I try to hold on to them and I do a little Christmas section at the store. I might even hold on to some of these for the pop-up with Misty in December, which is December 7th. Uh, it'll be a Christmas um, pop-up at her brick and mortar. So I might save some of these for then. And I also bring some to live sale. So um, we'll get these stickers off and not damage it. But I got a little Pat Boone White Christmas. Again, even if you guys can't play these, these are just fun to use to decorate with. And somebody in that area was definitely a Glenn Campbell fan. So I found two of them. And I don't know that they're... Yeah, they're identical. So they're identical. They're both pressed around the same exact time. So these were $2. So, and always make sure, guys, you check your vinyl. Because if it is not stored properly, it can really get musty. But all of those are in very good condition. I did check the, the albums. They seem to be in really good condition. They don't seem like they're scratched or have any issues. Another thing, remember when you guys are sourcing vinyl... Pull the record out and check it before you buy it. You know, if you guys just walk into a thrift store and go ahead and buy it and assume it's the right record, sometimes people switch them out. Sometimes the original owner uh, lost the sleeve and they slide something else in it. So please, please, please. I know that sounds very um, something that should, you know, be just common practice, but it's not. So don't go buy a bunch of records without at least pulling the vinyl out and making sure that you have the proper record for the proper sleeve, okay? This may not get a lot of people going, but this I geeked out about. This is a uh, fish bowl, a huge goblet. We always call these fish bowls. Um, so I got this fish bowl goblet, and I'll show you it does say Zabers. Now, if you guys are familiar, if you guys are from the Northeast, Zabers was a restaurant. It was a premier place. Uh, maybe someday I'll give you guys a little bit of history about it. But it was open, I think, every day except for Christmas and one other day. But I think they kept hours. They were at the Jersey Shore. They started in Wildwood, New Jersey. Ed Zaber was the fellow that had the restaurant. And he opened another one outside of Atlantic City on one of the pikes. I think it was on the Black Horse Pike. And then these would be giveaways. Because they used to do a drink called uh, Zaber Sized. So it was larger than your traditional drink at any other restaurant. So if you guys are interested in vintage restaurants in their history, do a Google search on Zabers. It was a really premier restaurant and I'm, it went away in the nineties. It was a uh, really great place. It had, um, it was one of those places that you went in and they had a huge oversized chair, you know, like you sit in like Lily Tomlin, 
uh, used to sit in a chair, the big rocking chair. They had one of those right inside. So adults would sit in there and look like little kids. They, uh, all the chandeliers were the Tiffany chandeliers. They were all different. That was part of the shtick. It was one of the first places that had Christmas up all year round, including Christmas lights. It was a very kitschy yet swanky place to be, even when uh, Hollywood um, actors and actresses came in town. They all went to Zabers. So sorry to see that gone, but I'm just happy that I was able to experience it because Zabers had been around, I think, since the 50s, since the 50s. So uh, Tina did go ahead and get the little grab bag. It was $3.99. So if you guys saw our video, you know that we did. I'm just going to rip it open. I'm just going to do it right now. I'm just going to rip this open. We're going to do it. She did get the little owl. So we did purchase him. So he's in very good condition. What else did she get in here? She got this. It's a hobbyist. It's a star. You're a star. I'm a star. So that might get priced for the store. A lot of times if we get these grab bags and things aren't that desirable. Oh, we got a hungry hippo here. We do send things back to auction as part of our income. So we do send some things back to auction. And then we use that money to reinvest and buy other things. So sometimes when these things just don't make the cut for... Mother Tucker's are a live sale. They get boxed and they go to an auction. So, all right, guys, that's really two Goodwills down and a community aid. Let's pause here, clean up my mess because then we hit the mother load. And it was probably one of my best Goodwill hauls in years, in years at the one in Elizabethtown. Or at least it, I got stuff. We got stuff. So hang on, gang. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. I don't know how to do this. I'm going to look away every now and again because I have a huge Ikea bag full of stuff. Can I just say one thing? I miss the days when Goodwill had boxes and bags. Can we go back to that time? I mean, I'm not trying to, big, I'm not trying to cause a big controversy. I'm not trying to talk about global warming here. I'm not trying to talk about um, what's right or what's wrong. But can we please have bags again, Goodwill? I mean, I don't know if you have this in your part of the country, but here in Pennsylvania, and I know uh, I know in other states, when you go into a store, they don't even give you bags. But for the love of God, can we just have bags back, please? It would make life a lot simpler because I always feel like I'm going to break this stuff. All right, I'm off my soapbox. I'm done. I hope I didn't make any enemies. I just want bags. I just want bags. They used to even give you boxes. That's all I want makes my life easier please all of us please because you know you're getting boxes you know you're getting boxes when people are donating so what are you doing with them you throwing them away for the love of god put them behind the counter recycle them give them to us see i think that's kind of green all right maybe it's for a whole nother time so i was super excited to find this incredible brass cat okay I don't know what we're going to do with it. I don't know if we're going to sell it on the live. I don't bring a lot of brass things to live sales, but it's definitely a shelf sitter. And it was only $5. So, And it does say that it's from India down here on the bottom. So hopefully you guys can see that. So did get me a big old brass kitty cat. So I'm going to save one of my favorite things for the end to show you guys. So um, See if we can get these up here without breaking them. I did find a set of silver crest. Let's just bust it open. We're all here together. We're hanging out. It's a Monday night. So let's bust these open. These are silver crest. I don't normally buy a lot of silver crest anymore unless it's the Spanish lace. Um, but these I bought because they are the larger ones. And I think they're a little more desirable. So I did get those. And they were in a bag. Let me tell you how much we paid for them. And the only thing about them being in a bag, too, is sometimes you think they're not damaged, but they, they are. So they were $6.99. So I did get those. Let's see here. Tina, like I said, she has her little section in the front. So she got this patent leather purse. This she'll clean up and she'll put in that section in the front of the store with jewelry, hats, gloves, etc. We were really excited to find these. We're going to go ahead and bust these open. These, I'm pretty sure, will be coming to a live sale. So we've got a set of three. These are your little dresser jars. Look at the tulip on the side. Great detail on all of them. So let's make sure the lid doesn't come off. Then we got two smaller ones. Now, again, they were in a grab bag, so I don't know. I don't see that there's any damage on them, but we got a set of three. 
So these are very 1930s, I think, 1940s. I would say maybe a little more 1940s. So those will come to a future live sale, and those were $2.99 as well. Uh, then I found this, which is a base to a um, fairy lamp. It is the Stars and Bars, so I did find a base. I think there is a little teeny tiny nip on it, but again, at $2.99, you don't let it alone. You don't let it alone. You don't let it there. So then right before we left, and we weren't filming for some of this stuff, found the top. <laughs> Excuse me. I got so excited. I'm coughing. So they did separate them, whether they knew it or not. So the top was $3.99. The bottom was $2.99. So you know what August means. That means it's time. It's the month of Amber Glass. It's the official glass of August. The official color of August. So that will be coming to a future live sale. Then we found this fun piece of California pottery. It is a artichoke. So it's an artichoke. I know it's weird, but it is um, Belmar of California here on the bottom. These do sell really well on eBay. They did a whole vegetable line, so there's no damage. So that might go on eBay or go to Mother Tucker's. You did see me find this in the video. I believe this is a uh, Viking bowl. I don't believe it had a lid. Again, I didn't do any research, but I do believe that's Viking, and that is $3.99. So um, that will be fun for a live sale or to take to the shop. Uh, oh, now you guys can see my rolls, my Francoma rolls. So you saw Tina find this fun piece of Francoma pottery. This will be in a future live sale or go to the store. I don't know. But again, on the back, it tells you how you warm it. You place it underneath your buns and your rolls stay warm, which we all need that, especially with the holidays coming up. We don't want cold rolls. So then you guys did not see this. And it's been a hot minute since I have found any Corral where uh, for $4.99, I got a stack of the berry bowls. It seems to be in very good condition. I found a stack for $3.99 of the uh, lunch plates. And for $4.99, I found a stack of dinner plates. So um, what I'll do is I'll clean those up and we'll probably sell them together as a set at the store. So um, that'll probably go to Mother Tucker's. So then, again, the camera was off. And let me see if we can open this without busting them. I'm going to get one of them out. Ooh, we're making a lot of noise. I got a set of four of these fun 1980s Sherberts. Now, I've seen folks sell these on a live before. Um, I've sold one or two of them at the store before, but these are fun little parfait dishes that you guys can make your little sundaes and all kinds of fun things out of. So they are made by the uh, Celeste. I think it's Celeste in Japan, Celeste Company. But there, I got a set of four plus, which you never find these. I have a set of, they're the Tuscany collection. That's what it says. So it's the Tuscany collection. And I actually have a set of the paper lids, which go on top. So this is something that's fun for the booth at, what did we pay for them? At $5, I think I can get 20 for the set of four. So that's not too bad. So we got a set of four of those. There are the other two. That will probably go to Mother Tucker's. Then I found these. Now, this just goes to show that when we find odd numbers of glasses, maybe one didn't break. Maybe that's just the way they were sold. Because I have to think that the sales gimmick here in the 1980s was, let's do sets of three. Because people don't always like odd numbers. So that means they're going to buy two boxes from us, not just one. But I found one, and this is the Chris Company, which I've never heard before. Very 1980s graphics. But it's a set of these dolphin tumblers. And from age being stored, they did this color a little. So I will take them out, clean them, put them back in the box. But they were $4.99. Couldn't let them. I just thought they were really, really fun. So, And our total spends, while I'm thinking about it, I think we were somewhere around 68 at this Goodwill, which is the last Goodwill. The other ones, I think we were at like a few dollars at Community Aid. We were at 10 at Community Aid. 
The other one, which was Mechanicsburg, I think that was, well, you know what? I have it right here. So the one was $25. That one was the first one we went to. So that was $25. Then we spent, we've spent $68 at the one I'm showing you right now. And then I think the other one, yeah, the other one we spent a whopping $14 at. So um, the first Goodwill we spent $25, $26. The first Goodwill was $25.26. The second Goodwill was $14.26. And then the final one was $68. So roughly everything you're seeing, we spent about $100 on. So, all right, we're not done yet. Hang on. Tina bought this because of the Hien carved frame. And in my area, a lot of these Amish scenes sell really good. We kind of recognize this print. Let's get that glare off. We recognized that this print. So we want to do a little bit of research on it. But it was half off. It was $3.99. So it made it $2. So um, that will definitely go to Mother Tucker's. But I think that was a good find. Then I'm really excited for these. Um, these scream um, Granny Chic. They scream 1980s, which all of that is good these days. But we found the set of the needlepoint seaweed and seashells in authentic 1980s frames. And they're in very good condition with no rips on the back. And we also thought we'd pull the trigger on them because they were half off. So they were $3.99. That made them 2 bucks each. So you have the full set. So we have them. So I think I might even try those on a live because I know we do have folks that have homes in the Florida region or have like to decorate their house with coastal. So those will be coming to an upcoming uh, live sale, I think. Then my favorite thing. You know what? Hold on. Let me make some room. I don't want to damage this. Hang on. I'll be right back. All right, you guys. This was probably our favorite find of the day. And mind you now, it took us a whole day of, well, it took us a half a day of thrifting at these stores to find enough to say that I had a good sourcing day. So uh, when you watch resellers, let me fix my hat here. When you find, when you watch resellers, this is a full-time job. Like it is an all day thing. So, um, but I was so excited to find this. I wish I would have got it on camera. There is a little bit of damage to the front, but this is a 1975. This is a large, oversized Casper and Wendy coloring book. So the only condition issue is we have a little tear right there and a little bend and tear right there. So um, it's going to be sort of hard to show on the screen, but here is the front page. And down below here, it says it's from 1975. So how great would this be if you took pages out of here and framed them? Like if you had a Halloween room or you collected Casper, how fun would these be to pull the page out without tearing it, go ahead and color them or just frame them as is. So here we'll show you this page. This is probably my favorite one. When you have the devil, let me know down in the comments. I'm not sure what their names were. So you have this guy over here. Oh, I'm using my middle finger. So you have that guy over there who looks like a, he's a shyster. And then you have the devil down there. Maybe it says on the page. You'll have to forgive me. I only knew Casper. I wasn't really into the friendly ghost when it had the whole cast of characters. So, Trouble said Spooky. Maybe his name's Spooky. I don't know. I don't know. Tell me in the comments who these people are. I don't know. Um, but this will, I'm going to try to bring it to a live. So we're going to try to bring this to a live. And just remember that when we sell it, guys, it will be a little more for shipping because it's so large. And if it doesn't go on a live, we'll bring it to the shop. But we'll offer it up because I don't even know its value. So, But we did pay $2.99 for it. So it's large and in charge. So guys, thank you so much for hanging out with us. Um, I hope you enjoyed how we did this. We took you guys shopping with us, thrifting. So that was our shop with me. And now we did our first premiere tonight. We hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, we hope you guys are subscribed to us. Please do so. If you're not, please make sure you hit the like button. Leave a comment down there. 
um, we want to hear from you. We are going to keep trying to create content as long as there's interest in it. Um, but welcome all our new subscribers. We're so humbled that you're here with us. We hope you guys come back to one of our Monday night sales for Mother Tucker's Mondays. Um, they will be back here now in August. That's at 8 p.m. on Monday nights, Eastern, 8 p.m. Eastern. And then we might be doing some crazy pop-ups. So you're going to want to make sure you're following us so you know what we do. I haven't fully given up on Christmas yet, so I have some ideas here for some fun Christmas sales coming up. So stay tuned for that. And then every single Wednesday, I have fantastic finds here on Mother Tucker's with the one and only Amy uh, of Enamor Amy. So please make sure you're following her as well. So guys, thank you so much. And that's going to wrap it up. And we'll probably see you again here soon. So you guys have a great night. Bye, everybody.